wow, wow, wow. Sound check, guys. Sound check. Let me know if you guys can hear me. Doing a little mic check here. It is really nasty out here, guys. Let me know in the chat. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? That's crazy. Look at the surfers, guys. We got surfers over there on the south side. Hold on, guys. Let me adjust something. Give me one second. Do I have an echo, guys? Do you hear an echo? Or does it sound clear? Okay, 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 we're good, we're good. All right, guys, hold on, because I may, <clears throat> I may move locations. So bear with me one second, because I might move locations. Bro, this is crazy. This is crazy out here today. Let me, uh... yeah, bear with me. I'm going to change locations. Give you guys a better, better angle here. All right, listen, guys, the sound is going to go off for a second. Just give me a second so I can move around here.
<clears throat> okay guys sorry about that let me know let me know in the chat can you hear me now we had to move and i can't i can't move with the audio on there so it should be good right now it is crazy out here guys it is so crazy i'm gonna move the camera now bear with me Okay, okay. All right, we got audio. Bro, this is the mission, guys. Let me tell you. Look, I had to, you might hear me a little muffled because I'm wearing a gator. I have a gator on right now, and it's covering my nose, my mouth. I'm actually a little under the weather. And um, <clears throat> I don't want to breathe all of this in, so I'm wearing a gator right now to help me out a little bit. I was gonna go live from the other side, the south side, but I don't know. I just it looked more compelling from here, and I decided at the last minute. So you know what? Let's go. Let's go over there to the north side. We got the news here with us too. Anyways, let me show you guys. Got channel 10 here. So just so you guys know, earlier today, this entire situation over here, all of this, everything here on the floor, it was all flooded, guys. The water with the king tide with everything was coming up over the rocks into the dirt here that I'm standing on. And look, we actually got some people out here. This is the first people to come out here today. <laughs> the very first two. I'm not gonna lie, that, that looks that looks fun. That looks fun, bro. Would you guys come out here in the jet ski <clears throat> with uh, Hurricane Nicole approaching? A lot of people are pulling up here. Let me show you that. Let me show you. Let me give you guys a little bit of a of a pan here and show you the situation. Believe it or not, a lot of folks have been here, <clears throat> and people taking pictures, videos. They want to see all over when it's super rough like this. And the surfers are going crazy on the other side. That's really the only reason I wanted to go live on the other side is for the surfers. It's a lot of fun catching those guys on the other side, but I don't know. Just felt like coming over here. You guys let me know. Let me know if you want me to go to the other side. I'll pack it up and go to the other side. Woo! So for those of you tuning in, let me let me take out this gator for a second. Maybe I'm clear. For those of you tuning in, guys, um, <clears throat> this is Hall Over Inlet in Bow Harbor, Florida, basically Miami, Florida, North Miami. And this is the impact of Hurricane Nicole. And so far, this is what it's doing right now. The last update I got, it's supposed to make landfall tonight, right? Let me know in the chat what time is it supposed to land. But... It will make landfall tonight. 
and I expect it to be even crazier. And, and I don't know how long I'm going to be here, guys, to be honest. No clue. Let me zoom out. Here we got some people. Let me show you this other side. I haven't even shown. Look at this. Look, 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 bro. Tell you guys, it is crazy out there. You got some more folks coming by to take pictures. Woo! The jetty's getting annihilated, guys. Can you fish there? <laughs> I mean, I guess you could come fish here. Yeah. What's going on, guys? Let's see. Let's take a look at the chat. I have, I've been ignoring you guys. Rick, Jers, Exciter, Jeremy in the house. What's up, Jeremy? <clears throat> excuse. You guys are gonna have to excuse me, man. I'm coming down with something. I, I got a bit of a raspy throat. Ashton, what's up? Leslie, Ramona's in the house. Uh, Jeremy, yeah, I don't know yet. Oh, we have, we have a whole, let me see, bro. We got a photo shoot here. The Hurricane Nicole photo shoot happening at Hallover right now. But yeah, guys, I'm I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be here. Probably gonna be here for a while though, unless any interruptions or the park closes or something like that. Then I'll have to go look at this, bro. It's getting it's getting gnarly, guys. I do not want to be out there right now. <clears throat> and of course, we have the crew here. A whole team is here, so we got we got a little bit of drone action. We've got uh, stuff from the south side. We got surf action. We got a bunch of stuff. That video will be out tomorrow. That'll be the high resolution 4K video. That'll be out tomorrow. Anyways, let's look at the jetty. All right, this is the jetty right here. This is where we film from, guys. All the videos you see in, from Hallover, we filmed them from right here. Probably around here in this area. As you can see, that area is getting pounded right now. So that is the inlet. <clears throat> if you come over here, you can see all the surfers. I mean, look at it. This, this, you're not going to get too many ch more chances than this. <laughs> Anyways, you got, uh, you got people over there on the, is that on the jetty? Yeah, I think, I think he's on the jetty. I don't know. But I'm sure the jetty's closed, though. Let's see. Yeah, jetty's closed. But yeah, you got one guy in the sand filming over there. I can't tell who that is from here. It might be a surf photographer or it could be um, one of the channels that films. I, I have no clue. Yeah, but this is what Hallover is looking like right this minute. Lou, what's up, Lou? Lou's in the house. Vest, Vest is here. Boris, Augustine, a lot of you guys checking in. Guys, tell me in the chat, where's everybody watching from? I hope, I hope you're not in Florida right now. <laughs> well, let me know in the chat, guys. Put it in the chat. Where is everyone watching from right now?
Val, Val is in the house. What's up, Val? I'm a little bit under the weather, Val. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, we're dealing with the uh, the hurricane here. I have no idea, uh, guys. I haven't been able since I got here to haul over. I got an update before arriving to haul over, so I don't know if it's a uh, drop to the south. Let us know in the chat if it's getting closer to Miami or is it still gonna? Are we gonna dodge a bullet? Jersey in the house, Newcastle. Wow, Newcastle. Slim Jim says right behind me. <laughs> Where's Slim Jim? <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of people here, so Slim Jim could be anyone. Uh, France, Tampa in the house. Germany, Puerto Rico. California from Greece, Florida, Okeechobee, Florida. Woo! It's getting closer to Miami. Oh, boy. Oh, my God, bro. The waves are... Look at this. Look at this, guys. So the chat says it's getting closer to Miami. Artie, right, you have an update on the... Is it getting closer to Miami? That's what they're saying. Yeah. Oh, wow. Listen, you guys are going to be... <clears throat> Oof. You guys are going to be the weather team for us. So you need to let us know... At what time should we be packing it up? <laughs> we don't. We don't even know. Bro, these guys are crazy, bro. They're having a good time, though. I just hope he doesn't fall off. If they're in good shape, a lot of times, you know, it's not a big deal for them to get back on, but we've seen a lot of people struggle. Look, look guys, look, let me see if we can spot it. Boom. The drone is in the air. That is the wavy drone in the air today, guys. <clears throat> like 25 seconds, something like that of it is, is good. You saw the, the two jet skis, right? You saw it? Yeah, yeah, I did. It's got to be struggling, right, with the wind? It's got to be struggling. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the south side. Let's see here. You think we should go to the south side or should we stay here? The south side looks fun. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Well, there's a lot of surfers, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. I see it. I mean, it's going to be getting wet, but because there is there is raindrops in the air, I can feel all the raindrops. This is like a window, guys. We have the drone up because we got to wait for the windows. Right now, it stopped raining. It really hasn't stopped. It's drizzling. We're still getting some rain. <clears throat> Atlanta, what's up? Atlanta in the house. Surfers out there being surfers. Yeah. Yeah, that's true, Justin. Jeremy really wants me to go to the south side with the surfers. I don't know, guys. We may do that. We may do that. We're still contemplating. The problem is the setup, guys. It's not easy. Look, look. Look, I'm going to give you an idea of the wind. It's not easy to set up over there right now. <clears throat> we can do it. I mean, we've done it before, but... Ah, uh, it's going to be a pain. Val says hi, Artie. Oh, but tell her I say what's up. Miss <laughs> he says, tell her I say what's up. I miss her. 
The message has been relayed, Val. <laughs> Matt says, windy boats. <laughs> Matt, we need some boats. I keep peeking around the corner, seeing if anything's coming out, but it's not looking great. Let me take another look here. Um, I'm not going to lie, guys. There were some boats in the uh, intercoastal here. And I, the whole time I was just wondering, oh, man, are they going to come out? Are they going to come out? But they have not. So there's a chance, but nothing's come out yet. If any center console comes out today, it's it's probably going to be either an Invincible or a CV or an HCB, something like that. I can't imagine anything else coming out here. Yeah, you're right, buddy. I'm under the weather a little bit today. <clears throat> Don't worry, guys. I took my zinc. I took all my vitamins. She says she misses you too, Artie. All right. I told him. I told him. He knows. <laughs> he smiled. Thank you guys for those of you telling me to feel better. I appreciate it, all of you. Um, <clears throat> apparently, I don't know. We're here, so we're not aware, but people are telling us it's going to hit us, that it's getting closer to Miami. Let's pan around a little bit here and let's, uh, let's take a look at the rest of the jetty. I'm also going to give you guys a shot of the lifeguard tower here on the north side. I want to show you guys just how, how nasty it is. And also how much the water is getting pulled out. But it's starting to like come down. <clears throat> And we still see surfers arriving over there on the uh, on the south side. Whoa, look at that. I know, I know, it's I see it. Like crazy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, look at this, guys. Sean, what's up, Sean? Sean says, great yeah, feed. Thank you, Sean. All right, we got the surfers coming in. Jet yeah, jet skis. My bad. Why did I say surfers? <laughs> My mind's on the surfers, man. <laughs> they are saying north of Miami. Yeah, so, but the thing is, I'm hearing that it's inching closer to us. Thanks again, Sean. Appreciate the kind words. <laughs> Rick says, anybody at the nude beach enjoying the, what did you, you say, enjoying the enjoying the waves? No, I, I can't see it from here. The nude beach is blocked by the uh, the trees that we got to the north of us. This guy stuffed it. <laughs> he stuffed it? Yeah. Dude, I was reading a comment. <laughs> I got Artie here with me, guys. Took over the uh, the camera for a second so I could read the comments. Jeremy says, it'll be hitting Miami at 5 a.m. with tops of 70 mile per hour winds. Okay, wow. What would that? What category is it going to hit us at? I'm assuming it's not going to go past the three, right? It's going to stay low because the winds that I've seen reported are, are not that crazy. Yeah, Sean, for sure. I think we. I think our biggest challenge now is just getting out of here in time, right, Artie? Yeah. <laughs> we don't really know what time to pack it up. Thank you. 
Yeah, let's do it. You can step. Excuse me. Jeremy saying cat one when landfall. Okay. We'll hit at cat one. I mean, thank God, right? <clears throat> Especially after what happened with uh, Hurricane Ian to our friends uh, a little north of us from Miami. I mean, that Fort Myers area, man, they. That was bad, guys. Cape Coral, all, all that over there. Those guys took a beating. Seventy-four to eighty miles an hour. Then I go across Florida as a tropical storm. Okay, thanks, Rick. Appreciate it, buddy. Hey, didn't they refill the sand not too long ago? Yeah, they did actually. <laughs> like they're gonna have to do it. You know, it, it's crazy, guys, because um, that's that's a good that's a good uh thing to talk about you remember when, um when they did the uh the dredging here at the hollower sandbar usually naturally it takes about four years to come back in and uh fill the sandbar up again but the thing is the more storms we get and the nastier storms are and hurricanes and all that it's gonna help out with bringing the sand back in because it naturally wants to come in it's gonna come back in through the inlet and it's gonna form the how it's going to help form the hollower sandbar back to the way it was so with all these like big tropical storms and hurricanes that we've been getting it it might happen sooner could possibly be looking at two three years I'm yeah no tony ian was no joke you're right you're right about that my friend it was really bad the videos were crazy <clears throat> We have a few friends in that area that um, had had a lot of issues, and you know, thankfully they're okay. Though that's what's important. Hey, Greg, how are you, buddy? Greg is in the house. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I did hear that as well, that Orlando was going to get hit pretty hard. So we'll see, guys. Ed, thanks so much. Ed says, I love the videos. Yeah, Ed, I appreciate it, man. We all do. We work really hard on it. As you guys can see, we're out here even in these conditions. So Hollower for us is... Uh, any weather we're out here guys unless i don't know unless it's a cat five or something then i don't know about that one because they'd probably evacuate this whole thing and close the park <laughs> those are normal waves in california i know but florida this this is crazy for florida we don't get huge waves here in uh in, especially in miami you know, it happens like, I don't know, twice a year, I think we get like craziness at South Beach and then we get some stuff here at Hallover as well. But usually like the bigger waves are a little bit more in Central Florida and a, a little bit up the coast. Thanks for going live. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You're welcome, guys. Um, <clears throat> of course, we want to go live. We want to show as much as we can. Um, and so far, I mean, I'm even surprised that we saw two jet skis, guys. Honestly, it's I thought it was going to be a no-show. But since it is haul over and it's Miami, we have to respect that 
there will always be that one guy that sends it out the inlet, you know? <laughs> that guy wiped out so hard. You saw it on there? Just <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad over there. He had there. a good run, though. He had a good run. You think that tree over there will give us some good coverage? Mm -hmm. If we uh, go over there? I don't know if we can see over those bushes. Yeah, we can raise it up. We can see over the over the bushes. I just don't know if the tree is going to provide enough coverage for... I mean, I think water is going to be... Because... It's coming from that direction. I'll tell you what, let's take advantage of that it's not that bad of weather because we might get there and it might start like. Oh, because you want to go over there? Storming. I don't know. I feel like if we go over there, it's going to start, start storming. <clears throat> I'm expecting heavy rain. Well, I mean, it looks that way. It looks like we might get some heavy rain, so. John says you're the best YouTuber ever. Thanks, John. Appreciate that, my friend. Blue Top Legend would send it. Matt says, Matt, you know what? They probably would. They probably would. And uh, their dad or myself would have to be sending them messages like, don't, don't do it. Because <laughs> they're fearless, man. Blue Top Legend girls, they're awesome. They're, they're super fearless, guys. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, I, I see captains, 40-year-old dudes come out here. They look at this. They turn around. There's no way they're going through it. These girls come out in a – well, they used to come out in a 13-foot Super Sport, a uh, Boston Whaler, and just rip it through here on a Yamaha 50. Incredible. And it's not this inlet, though, by the way, guys. Let me make that distinction. They come out of Boca Inlet because I know a lot of you are confused and you think that Blue Top Legend is from uh, from Hallover. They never come out of this inlet because they live in Boca. So they will always come out of Boca Inlet. Maybe they'll do Boynton Inlet one day or something. I know they've wanted to do that for a while. Oh my god, the visibility is going away, huh? You see that? We're losing visibility fast here, guys. Hey, guys, listen. Don't forget about us. You got to let us know when we have to leave, okay? <laughs> we got to make sure we get out of here in time. Bro, like... Imagine we're here and this thing is like, <laughs> right, I'm like five, ten miles away. <laughs> oh my god. Greg, we had a lot of boing, boing boing going on with the um with the jet skis that were out there. Oof, my god, dude, look at this. Monster waves, guys. I got my eyes peeled here, waiting for the boat, that one boat that's going to send it. Yeah, man. Unfortunately, I have no information on Yellow Top Legend. I don't know what happened to him. <clears throat> I hope he's okay, because that was pre-COVID uh, when he was out here. I never after COVID, I never saw him again after after the pandemic. Yeah, Exciter definitely gonna be drinking some tea, my friend. I appreciate that. Bro, you know what it is too. I think I think that uh, the AC in my house was like really cold this morning, and I think that that did me in, guys.
Yeah, this is the inlet. This is Hallover Inlet. <coughs> no, no iPhone. We're on a ENG uh, camcorder. No, the iPhone's good, guys, but it's um, it's not good enough for this. At least not to the standard that we want. So, because remember, we're also recording, so we're streaming, but we still record several shots here. But just so you guys know, the whole day today, there's been zero boats, which is uncommon for all over. But there's been zero boats all day. So if we do catch something, it'll be the first boat of the day. Oh my god, bro. Look at the, the jetty is getting pounded, dude. Oof. <clears throat> sound check, guys. Sound check. Can you hear me? Is the sound cutting in for can, uh, cutting in and out for you guys, or can you hear me clearly? Yeah, this is a real live transmission, all in one. <clears throat> this is live, live, my friend. All right, you guys are saying you can hear me clearly. That's good. Bear with me one second, guys. I'm going <clears> to... <throat> the bandwidth over here. I'm going to do something to my bandwidth for a second. One quick moment. Still here, guys. Bear with me one sec.
Okay. <clears throat> that should smoothen things out here on my end. Wow, bro, look at look at the drop in visibility that you can clearly see. It's so crazy. It's just out of nowhere, it starts to get so cloudy and <clears throat> you can't see anything. Uh, Jason says, people surf in these type of conditions. Yes, in Florida... Um, it's a meme. I know it's a meme. It's a trope, but we do look for this type of weather to surf uh, for Floridians. I mean, guys, think about it. This is all they have. They never, you know, airdrop. What's an airdrop? <laughs> they don't, you know, they don't really typically get uh, conditions like these. So the surf community here definitely takes advantage every time there's a tropical storm or or there's a hurricane. I mean, sometimes you'll you'll see some guys out there, even in lightning. I'm not I'm not going to lie to you. Probably not the best idea, but they do it. <clears throat> Think we will see a yacht coming through. It's possible. I mean, you never know. Yeah, a yacht is possible. A sport, a sport fisherman might be possible. A center console. Mm think that's a little wishful thinking but you never know <laughs> trail man don't mess up your boat man don't mess up your boat just to just to get on the on the channel <laughs> the surfer group is getting tight over there say again the surfers are getting tight before they were more spread out but they're like tightening up over there wow bro the waves over there are still getting huge like especially coming from the from the north side But yeah, guys, anyways, for those of you just tuning in, this is Hallover Inlet in uh, North Miami, Florida, in Bow Harbor. And this is how Miami is being impacted right now by Hurricane Nicole. Definitely, the winds are definitely intensifying here, as you can see. Um, even, man, if you look at the trees, the trees are just crazy. I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about in just a second. So you can see the trees and all of the wind that's that's hitting us right now.
Are there surfers on the side of the inlet that you're on? No. Not over here, not on this side. <clears throat> so there's a reason for that, guys. Um, it all depends on the direction of the wind. I'm going to go ahead and pan to the north side here so you guys can see there's no surfers out here on this side. You got the uh, the surfers. What they do is they typically they typically will go to the side that is the wind is blowing away from the rocks. So we're getting a northeast wind right now. So that's why they're on the south side of the inlet because that way the wind takes them away from the rocks. Hopefully that makes sense to all of you. Yeah, no. So, <clears throat> you'll that, and if you follow that rule, you're always going to run into them. So, if you want to look at the surfers or you want to do surf photography or anything like that, guys, just always look at the wind. If you're here in, in the Hallover area, it's a little pro tip. I mean, most of the community here knows that. So, so you always want to go in the direction that the wind is blowing away from the rocks. Yeah, the shot kill with the with the news. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Um, Channel 10's been they've been here all day actually, guys. I think they're waiting for it to get really really bad, and then they're gonna get some shots. That sucks, guys. We can't get the drone up in the air at the moment. I wanted to, too, because it is looking so crazy to my left. But we can't. We can't get the drone up right now because it's raining. <clears throat> it's in the hard case right now, waterproof. All right, we still got people arriving. Yeah, we still got. I'm gonna, guys, hold on. We're gonna look at the waves, man. They're getting crazy. It's like a whole family. <laughs> it's a whole family going surfing, guys. <clears throat> He's excited. <laughs> yes. That's the excitement of living in Miami and seeing some big waves. <laughs> Someone called me today. Oh, a buddy of mine called me from the area, and he tells me, he said, dude, you got to get out here. I was like, I'm on my way. I'm on my way already. And he's like, oh, okay, man. This this looks like Hawaii out here. These waves are insane. <laughs> That's a big deal for Miami, guys. Big deal. Oh, so PSL, <clears throat> Port St. Lucie is the uh, impact area. That's where it's gonna. That's where it's gonna make landfall, guys. That, that's not far from here at all. An hour and a half. An hour. An hour. No, nah, like an hour and twenty minutes, maybe. Yeah, oh, it depends. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff says, uh, hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, man. <clears throat> I might, guys, uh, I might go on Instagram and do a little behind the scenes here of how we're filming right now, how we're live. So 
check out keep an eye on the uh, wavy boats instagram because I'll, I'll be posting something on there and if not i'm going to definitely take some shots around here to, to show um in the story so you guys can see like the whole big picture of what's going on here at Hallover right now I don't know if we're going to get another chance at the drone. Chad, let me know. Are we going to get a, a little break? Somebody check the radar. Let us know if we're going to get a little break here so we can put the drone in the air. <clears throat> Have any vessels come through since the storm started? Negative. Two jet skis. But you never know. I don't want to count anything out because Hallover, like I tell you guys all the time, Hallover is, is special, man. You, you never know. It's a good chance that something could come out. Was Hallover bad when Ian came from the west side of Florida? <clears throat> Actually, it, it was pretty bad. Um, it, it wasn't insane, but the following day, right? The following day is when we got a nasty system. We had King Tide, plus we have like I guess all of the all of the wind from that system that was rotating in our direction slammed us. So the waves were insane. It's probably the biggest day that I've seen at Hallover Inlet. It was crazy. Right, at, It was the following day for me. And so I'm actually curious to see what tomorrow looks like. Although I don't think it will be the same because this storm is coming from the... Uh, well, this hurricane's coming from the... <clears throat> excuse me, from the east side. Whereas Ian came from the west. And I think because Ian came from the west, we got like the back end of it. Once, uh, once it passed Florida, that's that system that got us really good here. So I don't know if Hurricane Nicole is going to have the same effect. But you can see things changing. The conditions are changing right now, guys. It is definitely getting a little bit wavier. Um, the rain picks up a little bit more. Visibility drops. Bjorg with a $2 banger. <laughs> Thank you so much, Bjorg. Appreciate it, my friend. Based Mary on the election stream last night. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, man, we keep it to boats. Let's keep it to boats. I don't want to get chat riled up or anything. Got the news guy running around here getting a lot of B-roll, man. Credit to these guys. These guys put in a lot of work. I saw Greg. I didn't see Hugo. What's up, Hugo? How are you, my friend? MIA is usually open, Val, until... Well, I spoke to uh, a buddy of mine who's... Uh, you guys know him in the chat, I think. VR pilot. And the VR pilot, he works ATC. So he's on the tower. And he, he told me it's got to be like 35, 40. It's got to be blowing 35, 40 around there. And, and even then, sometimes, it depends how bad... the If there's wind shear, if there's not, so... Yesterday, it, there was a few go-arounds over there. Yeah, we had some go-arounds yesterday, Val. Um, we had, how many are already? Four? Like four, yeah. Four go-arounds we had. Air France Air France hit a go-around yesterday, and we don't even know if it was a toga because... 
No. You can't. You couldn't see it. Yeah, you couldn't see it. So it might have touched down and then took off again. It also had two diversions. Two planes that took off from runway nine and made and came right back. Yeah. So <clears throat> it's definitely a little crazy over there. I mean, if yesterday was bad, I think today it's wow. It's gonna be super nasty at runway nine right now. Hey, here you go. Thanks, my friend. Appreciate it. Yeah, we're trying to stay safe. Um, we're in a good spot right now. However, if it does intensify a little bit more, uh, we're going to have to, I don't know what we're going to do. We may have to move it. The wind is, um, it's not a, a real problem at the moment, but it, it can be. Oh, man, I was just, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, I have to drink a little something. Anyways, my buddy Bronco is in the house, Bronco's guru. What's up, Bronco? Nasty looking day, bro. I hope you guys stay safe. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. Bronco's guru. <clears throat> hey, Bronco, you think there's going to be anybody at the, at the boat ramps? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it is, it is, it is indeed a nasty day out here, dude. <laughs> no, <laughs> I know. I mean, dude, it's Miami. Come on. You never know. You might see the paddleboard dude out here. <laughs> <laughs> a paddleboard. Hardy says a paddleboarder might come out here. <laughs> what do you think? Are you think we're going to get a boat or you think it's going to be a wash? If it was the weekend. If it was the weekend. I don't know. I feel like. This happens all the time. We think we're not going to get one. The day is just a terrible condition day. And then we get one. And it's epic. I might call the um, might call the charter folks and let them know, hey, you guys booking a charter? He coming out here? <laughs> if one of you want to do that, let me know. Call uh, Kelly's fleet. Ask them if they're going out today. Kelly's fl fishing fleet here in uh, Hallover. And uh, ask them, are you, hey, you guys going out? You're scheduled to go out today? And we'll know if any of the uh, therapy boats or the uh, Mucho K, the hurricane boat, if any of those guys are going to be coming out. We got the city search and rescue vehicle just pulled up next to us. I've been seeing a lot of agencies here, guys. We had Customs and Border Protection here. We have the City Search and Rescue. Miami-Dade was here. Uh, I think, uh, uh, was it Bay Harbor? I think Bay, Har Bay Harbor vehicle was in here. Bro, the wipeouts must be <laughs> insane today. <clears throat> Dude, imagine how South Beach is. It must be insane in South yeah. Beach right now. Because Hallover, whenever Hallover is crazy, South Beach is crazier. Is it is it dry? It's not dry. Bro. Well, let's take advantage. Get the drone in the air. Let's go. <laughs> All right, he's gonna get the drone up, guys. Um, we have a little window, and you guys didn't tell us. No one in the chat told us that the radar was gonna uh, give us a little break in the rain so we can get the drone up. Uh, still, I still see more people. Let me see. 
Even more folks are arriving, guys. <laughs> it's like a party. It's a party, I'm telling you. You know all these people call each other. Let's go, bro. The waves are going to be insane. We got to get out there. <laughs> so here's a fun fact um, for you guys. That side that has all the surfers has zero lifeguards. There's no lifeguards over there. <laughs> oh, this makes me, man, this makes me want to go to the south side. <clears throat> man, we got a bunch of cars parked behind us now, guys. Everybody's pulling up here. Dave says, don't need lifeguards. The lifeguards are smart. They went home. <laughs> it's a storm. No, there's not. There's no stationed. Like, not that they went home. There's just no lifeguards on the south side over there in Bow Harbor. <clears throat> you won't see any. Even on a beautiful day. Oh, my goodness. The bots, the spam bots have arrived. Yeah, just ignore the bots, guys. You know how it is. YouTube has a real issue here with these bots, and I, I don't know. I don't know what they're waiting for. They got to find a way to deal with this, though. It's actually hurting the live channels, man. Like, you know, it's, it's hard to be family-friendly when you get this type of stuff. And luckily for us, it's not really happening too much, but there's times when we, we'd be streaming and it happened. Like, I don't know, man. Every Every, like, 20 minutes... Excuse me. I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to be out here, guys. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to call it soon because. Um, oh man, I feel like crap. <laughs> I gotta go get some of that honey and lemon. <clears throat> My mom is Cuban, so you know she's always telling me about la miel, y el limón, y el sal, and. I got all that stuff, all those remedies. Wait, wait, wait. Bear with me, guys. One second. There we go. Hey, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we're there now. Yeah, in the canal. In the canal, yeah, in Jersey. Yeah, that, we're from Jersey. Oh, you're from there? Yeah. Uh, have you been to the Point Pleasant Canal? Been through that canal a million times. But I, everyone yeah. always tells me it used to be worse. It used to be worse. When it used to have the, uh, what is it, State 88 or something, a bridge? Well, now it's a safe place to really watch it, too, you know. Yeah, that's a crazy spot. But that other bridge, not the one where the police are, the state police, the other bridge is gnarly. Like that one, that's where we film a lot from, and it, it, it gets crazy. Plus, people know they're not watching there, so right. <laughs> they speak through there. There's some nasty inlets in Jersey. Yeah, yeah. That, well, you got a guy over there, uh, my buddy Brian, who's uh, Shore Boats. Mm -hmm. He's doing uh, a Manasquan. Yeah, Manasquan uh, gets nasty sometimes. They're yelling for them. Yeah, like, you locked them out. <laughs> Hey, likewise. Take care. I can't wait for the season to start so we can get back over there. 
Hey guys, sorry about that. Hold on, I got some some uh, one of the bags here that's protecting the camera creeping in. Anyways, so that guy that you probably heard in the background is a um, that's a viewer from who lives in Jersey, and I think most of you know by now judging by the amount of views those videos have gotten that we've expanded to New Jersey <clears throat> and we're also filming out of the uh, Point Pleasant Canal during this season so and, th and that place gets crazy and we're gonna be back there as soon I mean it's 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 basically on the roster now full-time like it, we just gotta wait for the season because right now we have a camera there set up so I can see the the canal at any moment I can check it out at any moment and trust me guys it's such a huge difference with the season. There's no one there. <laughs> the only boats that come through there right now are like big sporties. And they just don't have any issues. But I think we're going to be back there probably in April or May or something like that. Hey, Ronald, thanks, my friend. I appreciate the kind words. <clears throat> yeah, Artie was getting um, some shots here with the drone. Some of you guys heard that. You're like, I hear the drone. I hear the drone. <laughs> Whew, what a crazy day here at Hallover. Yeah, Rapid, uh, I mean, I just feel bad for other, for everyone, you know. I can go into subscriber mode, but then I just, I don't know, I just feel bad for everyone. I don't, I don't like forcing people to subscribe, you know. If you find the content interesting enough and you think that <clears throat> the channel is, is something you want to stay tuned with, then subscribe. But turning on subscriber mode, it has like a forced feeling to it, you know. I usually don't like it when I'm watching a live streamer and he does that. So, I guess that's the thought process behind it, but the subscriber mode, it does help with the bots, of course. Thank you, Sean. Thank you for being here with us. Appreciate that, my friend. Oh, is the, uh, no more? That's good. That's good to know. <laughs> Real chit. <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. I respect your thinking, Wavy Boats. Thank you. Oh, boy. Got the alarm going over here. <clears throat> Artie, are we going to be here all until, like, sunset or... I don't know, man. What time is it? Now, it's, it's I mean, it's 3.43. It's not that far from... <laughs> I think we're getting our sunset at 6 now or something. Time just changed. And <laughs> today's edition of Wavy Boats. Yes. <laughs> And as you can see, guys, on your screen, the surfers, they continue to join the party here. Are you going to fly again? Or um, is it raining still? I don't know. Yeah, no, it's, no, it's raining. It's raining. Guys, we can't launch at the moment. It's still raining. <clears throat> Hopefully, we get a break from the rain. Just a few minutes. All we need is like 10, 15 minutes, and we can get a bunch of shots. Dude, my throat is on fire. My goodness. <clears throat> I may have to actually wrap it up, though. My throat is like, yeah. it's bothering me. I feel great, but my throat is just, damn.
I might pick up some some tea on the way home or something, guys, because my throat is is going crazy right now. <clears throat> Minnesota in the house. Jennifer says, Hallover is crazy. Love watching the crazy boaters try to conquer the Hallover waters. Watching from Minnesota. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Appreciate your viewership. I know, right? It's so crazy. All these guys come out here, and you know, you can tell because they look at our cameras, and then they go airborne. <laughs> so they're they're definitely trying to conquer all over. I don't want to say everyone because it's not fair. Not everyone is, but a lot of boaters for sure. Um, not you know, thanks to us, thanks to some of the other channels as well that have really put in a lot of work here <clears throat> over the years to make this what it is. I mean, guys, this is this is the most famous inlet in the entire world, all over inlet, and it's and it's a, a bunch of things that have to come together to make this pay, uh, this place so special. So it's not, I don't know, you just can't it, it can't be replicated. Like I've tried, uh, I, for example, guys, you know that I've moved over to Boca to to film there sometimes. Um, I love Boca. Boca is basically our second home. That's our secondary inlet, and it's fire. It's great, and it produces good content. But it still isn't Hallover Inlet. And the same thing goes for um, every other place. Boy, and um, because the thing is, you can pick these places apart. Woo! Hoo, hoo, hoo. That jetty is getting pounded, guys. Look at this. But anyways, as I was saying, you can name these places and I'll pick them apart. And, and, and for example, Boca Inlet. <clears throat> it doesn't have it doesn't have the money in boats that Hallover does. It has traffic, but it still falls a little short in traffic to haul, compared to haul over, and the money in boats is not there. Um, not to say there isn't some beautiful, expensive boats there. There is, but not at the same volume of boats that we get at haul over inlet. Um, Boyton Inlet, definitely not the same money in boats that we get at haul over inlet. Traffic is a lot less, and. Um, it's just the, the it's really the scenery as well. The scenery at that at that inlet is not as good as Artie. Can you handle the camera for a second? So I can step over here. Anyways, the scenery at Boynton Inlet is very limited. We're basically staring at walls over there. I mean, it's a gnarly place. Don't get me wrong. Then aside from that, what else we got? South Beach too wide. The inlet is super wide. It takes a lot to get some wave action over there. We don't get the same waves that we get here at Hallover. What else? Um, I guess from there we can talk about New Jersey, for example. So New Jersey's cool, but just like the other ones, we don't get the same money in boats. There is some, some expensive boats over there, but we don't get the same amount that we get at Hallover, and the traffic is not the same either. Another thing is, Manasquan Inlet does not provide the wave action that Hallover does. It's a little bit wider, uh, it's a little bit deeper, so the inlet itself <clears throat> it just won't get the way, won't get the way that Hallover gets. It takes a lot to get like that. What else? Let's see. Uh, and the same thing kind of goes for all of the inlets in, in uh, New Jersey, um, the inlets in North Carolina. And then if you talk about, for example, North Carolina, and I'm going to wrap this up already, guys. I know I'm going on a little tangent here, but I, I find it fun sometimes to talk about the different inlets because we've explored so many places. Um, if, you, if you think about North Carolina, right, there's some awesome inlets over there. 
but the traffic isn't there. So, you know, you're standing there for eight hours, nine hours, and you end up filming like three boats. You know, that's just not enough. So truly, there is nothing in the world, there's nothing out there that will ever compare it to this inlet right here in front of you, Hallover Inlet. <clears throat> hey, Artie, you notice those beachgoers, the, the police didn't tell them anything? No. <laughs> they let them go. They were too excited. They were like, well, the other kids that were going by, the cops stopped them, but they let they let this couple go by. <laughs> I think they said, oh, we're going to be on the news. <laughs> I don't know. So... <clears throat> So yeah, guys, just wrapping up that thought, um, Hallover is just the best when it comes to, you know, wave action, uh, boat variety, boat traffic. And that's not to say that there isn't content at the other inlets because you guys have seen that we've made it work. We, you know, we make Boca work. We make, we've made Boynton work and New Jersey Point Pleasant Canal. Now I'm going to tell you something, guys. Point Pleasant Canal is probably my third favorite spot. Love filming there. Um... I think we're bringing a different vibe to to filming there um, than than what was previously there. there we had another, there's another channel there, uh, but you know it's it's, it's cool because we do things a little bit differently, and uh, it's it's kind of fun that we can do the the same things we do here over there at the Point Pleasant Canal. Hey, look at the news van. They I, they I might no they might want to see what the news van looks like inside. Did you already point at it? Channel 10. But yeah, my buddy Brian is over there. Um, check him out. Shore Boats. It's on YouTube, Instagram. I think Facebook? I'm not sure. <clears throat> but he he, uh, he films there all year. He's He lives there. So he may catch some cool stuff in the winter. Jupiter Inlet. I, you know what? I forgot to talk about Jupiter Inlet, guys. Thank you for reminding me. Jupiter Inlet. Um, yes, there's money in boats for sure. Uh, I've seen some really gnarly expensive boats there. It does get rough, but it was dredged. It was dredged. And after the dredging, it does not get as rough anymore. It has its days, but it's not It's not the same. One of my partners, Ken... Ken Mack, who filmed a crazy video of a boat over there in Jupiter Inlet, that was before the dredging. So now when you see camera guys standing out there, they're really just <clears throat> hoping to get that same type of stuff that, that my buddy filmed, but that doesn't happen anymore. So I don't want to call it a waste of time, but it's just... Also, it doesn't get the traffic either, I will say that. It doesn't get the wave formation anymore, and it doesn't get the traffic. I mean, Jupiter traffic i'd argue jupiter gets less traffic than boca haul over and i don't know about boyton they might be on par hillsboro has a no wake zone right in front of the inlet <laughs> we've been there done that unfortunately guys that inlet i mean it's not a bad inlet it's pretty cool but there's a there's like a no speeding zone there manatee zone or no wake zone or something like right in front of our camera so all we're gonna get is boats going like five ten miles an hour so you know it's not it's not really our what we're looking for wow oh, look at the jetty guys look at the jetty getting washed Woo! my goodness You guys just keep mentioning inlets. I want to get off this topic already, but you guys keep mentioning Sebastian. Sebastian, too wide, no boats. <clears throat> it's a very wide inlet, and the boat action is, is not the best, and it's the same thing. Not, not a lot of money boats. You're going to see a lot of boats have been passed down from family members. Nothing wrong with that, but it's just not what we're looking for. 
because we do like those boats, obviously, since we, you know, we film at uh, Boca Inlet and Boynton. But we like to mix it with other boats as well to give it some variety and, um, and make it ex expensive boats as well. Wavy Boats, YouTube channel. You got the um, Channel 10 guy. He's here hanging out with us. <clears throat> Artie, I think you're still recording. All right, Greg, take care, my friend. I will tell Artie you said what's up. Greg in the chat says, hey, Artie. Oh, look, 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 look. They got washed off. They got washed off. Look. Over there, the couple. The water got them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait one second guys We're adjusting the tripod Oh my god you missed the, the slam She got slammed The water's getting much more vicious bro Look at this Wait for the wave to come in. You'll see what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. I've not been to Asbury Park. Um, send me... Uh, I mean, what, what's going on in Asbury Park? Is there something... Uh, is there a lot of boat traffic? I mean, we're, we're always down to expand, guys. We'll put resources into it. As long as there's, it's worth going there, it has to be worth it. For example, we've gotten emails about going to the, um, what's it called? Uh, is it Greymouth in New Zealand? The Greymouth River Bar. But the problem is, it's the same thing, guys. We'll go... We'll stand there for eight, nine hours, and we'll we'll cap we'll capture one fishing boat. So the argument is, the waves are insane. They blow haulovers waves out the water, but guys, it's there's no boats. Aza says, lemon, honey, and fresh ginger tea will be perfect for your sore throat. Oh, man, that sounds really good right now. I just want something warm. I have that, like, shivery cold feeling because the weather, the wind keeps hitting me, and I'm wet. Yeah, you see, the water is really washing over the jetty now. <clears throat> Before I wasn't doing that, not like that. No. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take advantage and uh, also go. No rain? A little bit, but let me see how bad is it. Uh, guys, we're trying to see if we can launch the drone, but <clears throat> I mean, there's a couple drops, but I think you'll be okay. Well, either way, it's already up in the air. <laughs> Sorry guys, let me adjust here.
<clears throat> Jeez. I don't know, chat. <clears throat> I'm not sure how long I'm going to be here. My throat is getting worse, so so I had to take a moment to uh, <clears throat> cough, and I keep having to clear my throat. And I don't want to sound terrible on here either. Plus, this possibly can't be good for my throat. Martin, if you think I sound fine, then I, I appreciate that, my friend. I guarantee you this is not an excuse. I, come on, guys. I love being out here. My family tells me all the time, give Hallover a break, but I can't. <laughs> I just love it. It's my favorite place. I love being out here. Guys, listen. I come out here sometimes. I'm not even filming. I'll either come with my family or we'll just hang out and have lunch here. You know, there's times that I'm, I'm not even filming and I'm here. We'll have uh, one of our camera guys will be filming on the on the other side. Artie might be on the drone or he may be filming. Trust me, my friend Martin, it is not an excuse. <laughs> I, was, I was even contemplating not going live <clears throat> because of my throat. And yeah, the tide, it looks like it has turned and it is starting to rise. And honestly, guys, I... I I think it's going to come up here after about an hour or so. Oh, my God, Chris. Chris H. says this is perfect weather for that safe 42. <laughs> All right. For those of you that saw one of the recent videos, the, the safe 42 that came in here went crazy. Oh, man, I don't know what was going on. The captain, the captain, I don't think, thought it through. But he stuffed it about, I don't know, like four or five times he stuffed that boat. It's a $1.3 million boat. The people in the rear, they were all in the stern. They all got wet. <clears throat> So if that was a, uh, a potential buyer, I, I don't know if that buyer is gonna gonna make that purchase anymore. Cause that was bad. That was really bad. <laughs> Blue top legend once again is at Boca Inlet. Boca guys, hey, you know what? Boca Inlet right now must be insane. It must be insane because Boca Inlet, um, it gets crazier than Hallover. So if Hallover is getting rough, Boca Inlet gets even more rough. It's the way it works. All 
Artie. Artie. One second, guys. Be right back. One second. <clears throat> All right, guys, sorry about that. Had to stand by for a moment to help Artie out. Apologies, apologies, we're back. We are back, <coughs> excuse me. You guys could see the drone on the screen when uh, when it was flying. <laughs> Rest in peace, drone. Now we got it, man. We got it. Oh man, Artie, what are we doing? Are we wrapping it up? <clears throat> no, I mean more because of my throat. All right, guys, listen, I think as much as I want to stay here, I think I have to do the right thing, and I, I got to pack it up. I'm not feeling too hot with my throat. Woo! My goodness, look at this on the north side. I just can't show you guys because we got the news van in the way. But it is crazy here. 
Wow, the north side is is insane. <clears throat> Oh, I think the, the Channel 10 guy is going to go live now, so you might see us in the background of <laughs> Channel 10. I don't know. They're not they're not facing towards us, so probably not. But um, I can see them from here. Got a uh, vehicle pulled up here next to us. Some more shot blocking. Oh, oh, hold on. I got to adjust a tripod. One second, guys. I mean, this guy's really trying to shot block us here. Like, <laughs> it's all good. <clears throat> they want to take a, a video here of all the craziness with the waves. Right, let's, ch let's check out the surfers in the meantime. Ooh, still a lot of them out there, guys. <laughs> Mark says, must be the one who thinks he owns all of <laughs> Yeah, man, this is like a drive-in right scenario we got here right now. The buddy drove in and all the way to the edge. <laughs> Chris says live stream is awesome guys. Thanks so much, Chris. Appreciate that, my friend. Always love having you guys in here with us hanging out. It's awesome. Let me go see if, if there's a boat. I saw a boat in the intercoastal, but I don't see it anymore. Okay, he, he moved it. He moved it back. He hasn't left yet, but I think we'll, we'll have some clearance here. the hand technique <coughs> excuse me the what the setup over there? you want to take it on the beach it's not raining right now yeah but whatever it starts raining I would love to I would love to I mean that just look at that that's crazy over there let me show you guys the waves over here on the north side. Hey, when you go up to, uh, I don't know, 200 feet or something, you can't see any boats out there? Uh, I'll check. I'll check. The visibility, I know, is not going to be great.
Dude Man says, nice to hear Wavy Bolt's voice. Ah, oh, it's the wrong day, Dude Man. <laughs> I'm coming down with a little bit of a head cold or something. <clears throat> so my voice is not the best right now. I apologize for that, everyone. But, um, but thank you, though. I appreciate it, my friend. Thank you so much. You know, we get comments like that. Some of you guys are always wondering, why don't you narrate your videos? I mean, Wavy Boat started as as just me, a tripod, a camera, just chasing bad weather, chasing boats and waves. That's it. And, and, and I never wanted to speak over the videos. Um, I just wanted to enjoy it and, and enjoy it the same way you guys would enjoy it with the natural sounds. And, uh, and that's it some text commentary of course but I didn't want to talk over the video um, I could very easily do it but I just I don't see the need and then I met um, Broncos Guru right who is another creator in the boat world and um, and I loved what he was doing the guy is super smooth um, just has a has a great knack for voiceover and uh, and he's and he's somebody who knows so much about boats, and he's also a, a master captain. He has his whole Coast Guard certification. Oh my God! All right, we got to go back this way. I think I think soon the water's gonna make it up here. Look 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 look. look. I think it will because earlier it was. <clears throat> Anyways, so getting back to my thoughts, uh, Bronco, it just, um, it was kind of natural. We, you know, I just said to him, I, I, I forgot if I reached out or he reached out. I don't know. One of us reached out and, and it was like, Hey dude, you want to take some of my footage or I'll film some new footage and you want to do a voiceover and let's see what that sounds like. Um, and he was like, yeah, you know what? I'll do it. He, he did it. And then, um, the rest is history. That's how Boats vs. Hallover was born. And uh, and that's it. That's that's where our partnership began with Boats vs. Hallover. Then we went into Miami Boat Ramps because, guys, it is special down here with the, <laughs> with the boat ramps. <laughs> so then we got Miami Boat Ramps. Uh, that, that's got to be one of my favorite channels, man. Miami Boat Ramps because the, the things that go on here are just, I don't know, they deserve to be documented. <laughs> um, Bronco's videos are hilarious Oh, of course, Bronco's the man Bronco is the man <clears throat> He's super good at what he does, guys And I would argue that There's no one else out there That, that can do it the way he does it Um just his tempo his speed he makes it about the boats and you know i think that that is where a lot of his success comes from um he he w when you start making it about you and not about the boats it's a it's just different man i, I don't know it, it doesn't it doesn't come off the same way so he makes it about the boats he sticks with what's happening with the boats and it's been great it's been awesome and people come to the to Hallover, and they mention Wavy Boats, but then a lot of times they'll ask me about Broncos Guru, and he doesn't. He's never filmed here. He's been here. He's visited. <clears throat> he's even, I think, stayed here at the Ritz Carlton. He's been to the Jetty. We've met up here a bunch of times, but he's never actually like filmed here. You know, he doesn't make content out of here, even though he is the uh, one of the owners of Boats versus Hallover. That's our content that he does voiceover. giving you guys a little history here on the wavy boats network and the question remains will there be a boat today will we get a boat I don't know, chat. Let me know, chat. Are we going to get a, uh, a boat? What do you guys think? Let 
very relaxing watching wavy boats with with natural sounds and uh, no offense you have a good narration oh well thank you no offense taken at all at all i i agree with you 100 percent, and that's why i don't narrate my videos if i if i start narrating my videos you guys won't have what you have now like it, it won't be on the market right because obviously we have a way that we do things and every channel has their own their own stylistic way of doing things so you're not going to get wavy boats anymore you're going to get different channels who like to edit differently show different things <clears throat> and it won't be the same so i never want that because you know there's times that i, I myself look back at my videos and i love them and i and it, believe it or not guys all the boats that i film that i personally film i remember them like it was yesterday so I'll have somebody come and tell me, hey, wait, do you remember that Donzi you got in, in 2020? The one that took a little dip, stuffed the bow, and then the lady was screaming. Yeah, bro, I remember that like it was yesterday. <laughs> as long as I filmed it, I, I remember it immediately. Barry, thank you so much for the kind words. man. I know Bronco appreciates it, and I, I appreciate it for sure. Yeah, you know, we've built something special, guys. And, um, you know, I know I've said this before, but this is definitely only the start. This is just the beginning. There's so much more we want to do. Um, and I think, you know, it takes years. It takes time to do exactly what we want to do. But we're, we're right on pace, doing great. And, um, and more and more and more people are learning about haul over every single day like youtube has metrics and new metrics that show us specific things that are very important and guys it's amazing the amount of newcomers that learn about this niche every single day <clears throat> and not to mention we get the comments as well where people are like hey just uh just found this channel i didn't even know any i don't even care for boating but this is awesome <laughs> that happens oh man oh man I'm sure all the boat ramps are closed today. Yeah, definitely. There's no, <laughs> there's no reason. No, if anybody's coming out, they're they're not coming through a boat ramp. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on with the surfers. My goodness, the jetty is getting pressure washing, huh? <clears throat> no, yeah, definitely getting nasty out there, guys. It's getting bad. I mean, I wish I could leave a GoPro here or something. <laughs> I probably can, but I don't know if it'll survive. Kind of like a trail cam scenario. Put something out here to see if uh, it turns on, if anything comes out. <coughs> oh, my goodness. Woo. Hey guys, let me ask you something in the chat. Should I stay away from cold drinks? Because I definitely want to drink water right now, but should I stay? It's cold. So should I stay away from cold drinks? Only drink warm stuff, maybe get some soup on the way home. You good? Yeah. Bro, look. You got a, the towel. I know, I know. It needs it. It looks like it's had better days. All right, let me see. 
Jeff says yes and no. Have a margarita. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to screenshot your guys' suggestions because there's no way I'm going to remember all of this. But I promise you guys that <clears throat> that I'm going to take all of your, your suggestions into consideration because my throat is on fire. What's the weather looking like in the rain? You gonna check the radar? Yeah. Let's see what's up with the rain. <clears throat> Anyways, chat, let me know. what. Give me an update on the uh, hurricane. What's it looking like for Nicole? What time is landfall expected? Where exactly is it hitting? What category is it at the moment? Give me some info, guys. I can't look all this stuff up right now while I'm here live with you. We're like the perfect window. And till 5. Till 5. Then we're going to get slammed. So maybe maybe pick up before 5? It's 427. I mean, I guess we got some time. We got a few minutes. So Artie's checking the radar here, and it looks like at 5 o'clock, we're going to get slammed, guys. We're going to get some rain, some heavy rain. Yeah, guys, trust me, I know. Um, <clears throat> I'm one of those unlucky individuals that got Delta, and I had to deal with Delta. It was pretty bad. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pretend like it wasn't. But um, yeah, Delta was just a nightmare, man. But yeah, no, don't worry. I'll do that as well. I'll do that. Actually, you know what? Just better be safe than sorry. So I'll pick a test up on the way home. But I don't I don't feel like that. I just I feel great inside. I feel awesome. I have energy. I'm good. I just have this like throat thing going on right now. But anyways, I don't want to bore you guys with that stuff. Landlocked, take care, my friend. Thank you for joining us. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Let me see here. Jaggermeister. <laughs> you gotta take the Jagger bomb. No, man, I can't. I can't. I'm out of it. <clears throat> Anyways. Alright, guys. So it is 4 30. 4 30 p.m. here at Hallover Inlet. The notorious, the world famous, one of a kind, the Hallover Inlet. And uh, as you can see, we had no boats. No boats. 
uh, all day today, really. So we'll see what we get. I know that once we go off the stream, we're going to stay and see if we get something. Because <sighs> we are making a video for tomorrow, but we got to get something. So we're probably going to kick it a few more minutes here. And then after that, oh, I didn't even notice I was on that guy. There we go. And, um, oh my god, look, let me show you guys past the lifeguard tower. <clears throat> but... Yeah, like I said, guys, we're probably going to hang out here after we go um, off the air. They're going to see if we can get some footage. Um, hopefully we get something, man. Something! Do you prefer this or summer heat? Well, I'm one of those people that loves the bad weather, so... I, I much prefer the wavy conditions, all of that. Um, that's why you rarely see any videos of ours that are flat days. I mean, we, we put them up, but it's uh, <laughs> it's not a preferred. Let's just say that. So that's what we focus on. That's our bread and butter. That's our that's what our channel's made of. That's our name, Wavy Boats. So we're not interested in flat boats just pass by on a on a flat day it's nice but it's i don't know it just doesn't do it for us cb lounge thanks my friend appreciate that <laughs> thank you judy uh, Judy says, you need water so you don't dehydrate. I'm a grandma and we know. <laughs> Thank you, Judy. Yeah, I'm going to drink the water I have. I just, I wasn't going for it because it's cold and I didn't want to mess up my throat anymore. in the name wavy exactly exactly so <clears throat> that's why we started that whole thing guys we getting the boats and the waves and all that was, that's that's what we aimed for from the beginning you know so as soon as, soon as we saw rocky waves we're like yep that's what we want to do All right, guys, we're going to get out of here, though. Um, I got to get going. I got to go drink some uh, honey tea and a bunch of other stuff you guys are recommending. Um, <clears throat> thank you for hanging out with us, guys. It was awesome. Should have a 4K video up tomorrow. We got all the footage from the drone. We got uh, footage from the south side, footage from the north side. Um, I think there was one boat early in the morning, but we're going to stick around here and see if we can get another boat that's going out. And possibly throw something up for, uh, for tomorrow for you guys. I mean, we should. We should. So, thank you all so much. Ramona, thank you for hanging out in here and keeping those bots in check. And uh, to Val, Greg, uh, Hugo, and the rest of the gang, all you guys, thank you so much. Mark, thank you, Mark. Appreciate it, my friend. Free Fire, CB Lounge, Woods, Jeff. Chris, Greg's still in here. <laughs> What's up, Greg? Anyways, guys. <clears throat> we are getting shot killed right as we're leaving, so it works out. Anyways, all right, guys. See you soon.
And if not, um, yeah, I should, I mean, we should maybe go live again soon. If not, um, should be a video out tomorrow. All right, guys, take care. Bye.